Hello there, fight friends. Andy Cotterill here at Samurai MMA 6 weigh-ins with Julian LeBlanc. Main event, weighed in at 184.4. Julian, that's got to feel good to get that weight cut out of the way and be ready to fight. Yeah, I feel very good. You know, the weight cut is always the part that we hate, but this time I, had, uh, I brought someone in uh, for the week, cooked all my meals. He's a specialist in this. Uh, Tyler, so no, I, I'm, I'm really grateful to have him here and it was the best weight cut ever. Yeah, that must be, uh, be very helpful when you don't have to worry about all the other stuff. You just have to show up and train and make sure you stay in shape. It's really helpful and it's worth the, the investment, I can tell you. So no, it was the best weight cut ever. So we're going to talk in two parts about this uh, fight. We're going to talk first about tomorrow night and your, your opponent in the Samurai MMA 6. Then we're also going to talk about your, a little bit about your past because you've been at this game for a long time. Almost as long as I have. Like, you've been around. So I find that very interesting. So starting off tomorrow night, you're fighting at Samurai MMA 6. Uh, main event. Have you ever been a main event fight before? Yeah, at Prestige FC against Mike Kent a couple of years ago, yeah. but it's been a while for sure. And I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to be the main event in my hometown you know, the support of the people I sold, I think I, I have the record of the most, uh, uh, like the most athlete that sell tickets forever in Quebec. Wow. So uh, it's going to be a, a packed uh, sans slush puppy tomorrow for sure. And when you say that, you fought, like you fought in TKO back in the day. So selling tickets is really important as an athlete. Some people might not realize that, but that's what gets you brought back to fights as well as your fighting ability, right? Exactly. And for sure it helps, it helps to get uh, some, some uh, better pay, you know, for us. So you know, this time I, I cannot be more grateful about the people, about the support. And honestly, it was not even difficult. Like I didn't even had to really do some promotion. Like people just wanted to come see yeah, yeah. and uh, I think the fact that it was the main event helped a little bit too. Uh, it's a guy from the hometown, from Gatineau. Here in Gatineau, people really support the, the local guys. So like they really like they really like to support the local guys. So even with my sponsors, thank you so much to all my sponsors. I never had so much sponsors, so much support. So I'm really, really happy. And tomorrow night, I just got to fight for you guys. Well, that makes sense because what you said, like I've been to fights all across the country. I think probably, I don't know if, I don't want to use the word best, but most vocal and a part of it, fans, MMA fans in Canada and Quebec. Yeah, no, honestly, you, it's going to be loud tomorrow night. It's going to be loud and uh, people from Gatineau like fighting, they like fights, you know, they, they, they will always support an event that there's fights. And yeah, it's going to be amazing. Honestly, it's going to just, the energy is going to be electrified, you know, it's going to be crazy. So tell me about your opponent, what you know about him, what you thought when you uh, heard about this fight and how you see this fight going. What's, I know without telling too much, what's your game plan? How do you see yourself winning? I see myself finishing him, you know, he's going to look for the finish too, that's a fight. He's a judo black belt, uh, he's tall like me, so I know he has some good Muay Thai, but I think maybe he's going to try to take me down. If you look at my, my two losses, I think he's going to try to take me down. We'll see, you know, uh, I already lost against one judo black belt, so my take is he's going to try to do the same, but and his coach is uh, like his coach. I, I know his coach good, you know, like I really respect them. They are good fighters. He has a good coach. It's a tough fight, but it's a fight that I can win and I'm looking forward to win tomorrow. Uh, so let's go back now to the history and your background. So you had your first amateur fight in 2011. So that was 12 years ago. So it's not very often that a fighter gets to make it and have that kind of longevity and keep fighting for years and years. I know that you have a ton of fights that were canceled, like people, for whatever reason, they didn't want to fight you or they dropped out. How are you able to stay so healthy and in good shape and still a good fighter after all these years? Just a good lifestyle, you know, the martial arts lifestyle. It's, I'm not the kind of guy that will only train, uh, like do training camps when I have fights. I'm the kind of guy that trains like all, all year long. And the, the thing also with me is that I've never been, uh, I've been gifted in a lot of things in life, but I've never been gifted like the, for the athletic part. I was always the guy that needed to work harder. So in my mind, if I stop working hard, I'll be behind all the guys, you know? So I always had to work like double the other guys and you know like when it's time to, to I don't want to say take a break but when it's time to slow down well I got to keep on going and keep on learning and I'm, I'm a student of the game I love this I, I've trained it you know I've trained a lot in, in Florida at Kill Cliff FC uh, amazing team there and you know I've trained a lot in Montreal at TriStar with uh, with XPN Center back then I've trained at, at, at in Vegas a couple times too I've coached in the UFC I think I think that my I have a lot of experience in the in this game and you know like maybe I have a lot of fights canceled but I never stop uh, working hard never stop believing and never stop 
training. That's it. I always wanted to fight again. So now I have this great opportunity to fight main event in front of my hometown. What can I say more, you know? Yeah, for sure. So when you talk about not being gifted and being the hard worker in the room, there are athletes like you in, in MMA and other sports who they have to put in that time in. They have to work and work and work. Do you think that sort of gives you a mental toughness that when you're in the cage against somebody who's maybe a little bit, things come more easily to them, that that helps you fight through some adversity in the cage? 100% because I, I, I face so much adversity in the gym, you know. So when, when, it, when it happens in the fight, you know, I think I can overcome it and I, I can over, overcome a lot of things. I have a good heart, I have a good mental. And yeah, I, I, like I'm ready to scrap tomorrow and nice. I just cannot wait. Well, I'm sure your fans and your family and your friends can't wait either. I'm sure they'll be super excited and stoked. I'm looking forward to watching you fight in person for the first time. So I wish you good luck tomorrow night and all the best. Thank you so much for your time. It's really appreciated. And thanks for uh, following MMA like that and giving, give, giving us this platform. It's really appreciated. Thank you very much. Thanks to you. All right, there you go, fight friends. Julian is fighting in the main event tomorrow night, Samurai MMA 6. Make sure you get the pay-per-view and watch for yourself.